This is one way you can pray when you don't even feel like praying. Sit in the quiet with the Holy Spirit and ask him to administer to your heart. And before you know it, you will even start praying or God will start speaking to you and you will have great time of fellowship with the Lord. He will be there for you. He will give you things to pray about just when you don't even think they're there. It will happen. Just stay with the Holy Spirit. I promise you. I promise you, you guys. Stay with me. Number five is fantastic. Number five is just fantastic. Read the Psalms. Everybody talks about the book of Psalms. I need to do more of these. And, and I will. I promise you I will. Read the Psalms. Number two. I so much love the book of Psalms because you can relate to what is what his writings are there. You can also start reading out in scripture and turn it into prayers as you do. Read them and then pray about them. You know, read a book of Psalms and then tell God, hey, tell me about it. Pray about it. He'll tell you what you need and he'll roll it into your life. It'll be rolled into your life. Number three, here's a good one for you guys. Number three, write a letter to God. It's the same as praying. Write a letter. This is more like a prayer journaling, which also a form of prayer. You can start by saying, dear God, start by saying, help me, whatever you need to, however you need to start it. You can even write to him that you don't feel like praying. And by the end of your writings, you'll, you'll be praying. You'll really be doing this. You've, you'll really be doing this and you've already started praying. Here's my journal right here. I write it down for you guys, because let's be real. I can't memorize all these things. I can't. So I write them down right here and it helps me help you. I write down a lot of things. Number four, make a gratitude list. Holy smokes. What are you, what are you thankful for? What are you happy for? Share it with me. Let me know in the comments and let's pray about them. Let's talk about them. Whatever you guys want to do. Oh my goodness. Make a gratitude list. I'm happy for a lot of things. Simply write down a list of all the things and people you are thankful for in your life. Your wife, husband, kids, brothers, sisters, whoever it is. List every seeming little thing, then thank God for them. Your coffee, thank God for your coffee. Oh my goodness, it's 5.30 in the morning and I'm having coffee and praying to you guys. I love you guys. I really love you guys. Um, that's also a form of prayer, a prayer of thanksgiving. So thanks, thanking God for everything that he does for you. Number five, this one is good. This one is, this one's a good one. Pray for somebody else. If you don't feel like praying for yourself, find that person on the street, find that person at the drive-thru, at Starbucks, at Pete's Coffee, wherever you got your coffee this morning, at your house, pray for somebody. When you're stuck in this place, think about others that you can pray for and that helps you get started and eventually you will get around to praying. It will come. It's taken a long time for me, but it will come. I promise you. Praying is a good thing. Let God have it. Give it, give it to God. Turn it over to Jesus, baby. Turn it over to Jesus. He will take care of you. Number six, pray in scripture. Pray the scriptures. Do you have one verse that is like your go-to verse? I do. I, I sure do. There's a video that I'm going to make on it. I sure do. I'll tell you about it at the end of this video, what it is. Then start with it and pray on it. This is one way you can get started even when you don't feel like praying. Find that one video find that one in your in your in your Bible. Just open your Bible. This is what I did. I opened my Bible. Boom, there it was. Right there. Deuteronomy 5 22 through 26. I'll tell you the entire story eventually. Let me know if you guys want to hear it. It's kind of crazy. It's my testimony to Jesus and I'm thinking about having it tattooed on my back on my shoulder. Deuteronomy 5, 22 through 26. And there was fire on the mountain and through the clouds, God spoke to his disciples. And there he was. It's just a portion of it. My goodness gracious. And the last one, I have heard the last one. It's pretty impressive. When If you go to church and you hear it, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy how it works. And the Holy Spirit was in that church that night. I can't say much else for anything else, but it was. Praying in tongues, number seven, praying in tongues. It's powerful, you guys. I have heard this and it is absolutely crazy, crazy powerful. I have actually heard it. For we do not know 
how we ought to pray, but the Spirit makes the decision for us. Whoever is praying seems difficult. It does seem difficult, but it's really not. Praying in tongues, and you can also help in worship by playing music in the background. Praying in tongues is powerful. It, it really, truly is. I can, I can, it was a bunch of years ago that I heard it, and I still hear it today, and it was crazy. It really was. I love you guys. I hope you love my background. Rocks and the blue sky with clouds. That's God's creation right there in the trees. And remember, it's a great day to have a great day. I love you.